Hey everybody, it's Zach with Z's Tees. I am back and as you can see right here, got a couple new additions. Um, two of these um, aren't very rare but they're hobby staples and one I would say is pretty rare. I don't see it very often out in the market but uh, yeah, I got these guys from uh, Simply Spiders from uh, the Scott Smith Animal Expo in Wheaton, Illinois. Um, yeah, the place is awesome. You guys should, if you're ever in the area, it's usually I think it's every two weeks they'll do a Saturday and then the, the next two weeks from then there'll be a Sunday so they just rotate Saturdays and Sundays. But they usually get a, a few uh, arachnid vendors up there. Um, or invertebrates, vertebrates, vertebrates and invertebrates. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Anyways, but yeah, I got a couple of spiders from Simply Spiders. Check them out um, on Facebook. They got they had a pretty huge list, so I made a couple a reservation on a couple spiders. So yeah, let me introduce you to them. All right, and. Look how they're all set up. They put this uh, reindeer moss in there. And I actually purchased some of that as well. It's pretty cool. I think it looks really nice in the enclosure, but they were saying it also works almost as a water dish, as the water kind of just sits on the moss and it'll stay up there for a couple days. But yeah, right here is a... Grandma Stola Porteri, the Chile Chilean Rose Tarantula, and this guy looks like he's in pre-molt, which is kind of nice. Hopefully he'll molt pretty soon. That abdomen is pretty black and shiny. It's a good sign that your tarantula is in pre-molt. Um, yeah, I actually, I, I really like this enclosure that it's in um, I've never seen this before but it gives it a decent amount of height and uh, and uh, the um, horizontal space to move around a bit uh, I'm just off the camera right now but yeah that's uh, the G Porteri I haven't had one in my collection uh, I've been looking for one especially a captive bred one um, I, w I was looking for one that was maybe more of a juvenile a bit older but you know what this, I found this guy and this will work perfectly so yeah it's a G Porteri that's a new world terrestrial <clears throat> and then Another hobby staple is the Acanthoscuria geniculata. Same thing, I've been looking for these guys and haven't really found them <clears throat> around as common as they're supposed to be. Um, yeah, I had to get this guy. I got a few different non-dews now and I, I'm really liking that genus so I had to get into Canthoscurias. So yeah this is a little quarter inch sling probably take a little while to start to get a decent amount of size but I figure I think in a year it can get up to about three inches maybe even a little more so I will monitor that but uh, yeah that's the Canthoscuria geniculata the giant white knee all right, and these two I'm gonna keep in their enclosures. This is uh, perfect for both of them. Maybe put a little bit of cross ventilation in the Agen's enclosure. But uh, yeah, this guy right here is what I'm kind of worried about. Is the Ephobopus uatoman. Let's see if I can. 
get the lid off without it bolting. The Emerald Skeleton Tarantula. Look at that. Stunning, stunning spider. From what I heard, they're basically like a Ephibopus cyanognathus minus the, the blue fangs. So yeah, I needed one for my collection. I don't have any Ephibopus. So why not go with uh, the, the Uottoman? Uottoman. <laughs> Yeah, I have a feeling this guy's gonna grow a little pretty fast, so I'm gonna throw him into one of my AMAC boxes. He could stay in here, but I have an open slot. Why not put him in there? And I think he's he should be big enough. Should be a problem. Alright, hold on. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, this will work fine. Let's zoom in. Zoom in on that. See how this is going to work. Hopefully he cooperates. All right, in. Awesome. If I can zoom a little bit more. <clears throat> yeah, if you follow my channel, you know you guys know I like these AMAC boxes, so. I want to get this guy in there, maybe throw some of this moss, a little bit of this reindeer moss in there, add a little extra color to it. And this is, this stuff is really good at keeping the humidity in, so for this species, I think they will appreciate that. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Boom. Ephibopus uottoman emerald skeleton tarantula. So yeah, that's all my new additions from Simply Spiders at the Scott Smith, Scott Smith Animal Expo. So, as always, everybody, thanks for watching. I will catch y'all next time. And I will be going up to Tinley. That's in a couple weeks. So, you can be expecting some more um, new additions. And I'm waiting on a box in the mail. It's going to take forever, though. Because the weather out here has been freezing cold. So, stay tuned, everybody. I'm trying to put out at least one episode every week. So like I said, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.